Hey everyone, Lyle here from West Tennessee Gold and Silver Exchange, and today I have this collection right here to show you. And uh, this one kind of comes with a little bit of a crazy story. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome. My name is Lyle and I own West Tennessee Gold and Silver Exchange here in Savannah, Tennessee. And I do a lot of videos of all of the cool collections that come into the store, some unboxing videos, and a lot of other coin-related content. So if you like that kind of stuff, make sure you like, subscribe, so you can stay up to date on all of the cool items that come into my coin store. And on today's show, I have this collection right here to show you guys. And uh, I told you there was a little bit of a crazy story, which uh, I will tell you right now. What happened was I was sitting here um, doing something. I forgot what I was doing, but I was doing something um, with uh, counting some coins or something like that. And a lady comes in. She comes in carrying a one of those like fireproof little safes. And it's not unusual because I see that type of stuff all the time. And uh, it was a little bit dirty. And um, she comes in, she asks where she can put this. I tell her to just go ahead and set it on the counter. And I helped her and, and all of that. And um, she's like, yeah, I have this safe right here and I need you to look at the stuff inside. And I was like, okay, cool. And she said that um, her, her boyfriend passed away. And uh, before he passed away, he told her that, hey, there's this thing buried in the backyard. <laughs> if anything happens to me, uh, dig it up and bring it in. And uh, sure enough, he, uh, he passed away and she dug it up and brought it in. And this is the contents that was pretty much inside of that safe. Um, the safe was pretty dirty. And this is uh, some of the stuff was kind of dirty. I had to wipe it down a little bit. But <laughs> this is what was inside. And uh, I feel terrible that the um, guy passed away. But um, she said this was all stuff that... Um, his family had and um, he got she got left with it now so now it's all hers she wanted to sell it and I said sure and I went through it all there wasn't really much there was a lot of other stuff that I don't have here um, that I gave back to her like a lot of foreign stuff um, a lot of face value stuff that I that I gave her so um, this is what's what's left and the cool thing is all of these up here these are all dollars and they look like they've been in there for a while. And I did open up one, because you can see it right here. It's kind of like a mix of a lot of different um, dollars. There's a lot of presidential dollars. There's also some Sacagawea dollars, like this one right here. And it gets me excited when I get stuff that hasn't really been searched through. Or if it, if it was searched through, it was searched through by somebody who was just holding on to this stuff. Because I highly doubt... Um, somebody put all of these dollars in there for a reason. So there might be actually something good in there. I just don't know because they're all pretty much sealed. As you can see, this one, there's a couple of them that were that are open. Uh, like this one right here. This is one that I opened. And uh, this one was already opened over here. Come on, camera. Let's focus. So this is... Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what's inside here. Who knows? There might be a Cheerio dollar in one of those. You never know. But I thought this was this was cool over here. This is a whole uncirculated roll of Thomas Jefferson dollars. And check it out in there. Not 100% sure what year this one's from, but it's got to be one of the early ones. Uh, Thomas Jefferson, I believe, was what? Third president? So this was uh, very early on in the series. And I got a whole uncirculated roll. Just uh, sitting inside that guy's buried safe. And I got a lot of other um, face value stuff, like all of these Eisenhowers. These are all just regular old Eisenhowers. No silver in them. They do look to be in pretty good shape. Here's the Bicentennial one. They're really nice and sharp still. So they had to have been um, uncirculated. But it does look like they had some circulation at one point. Look, look at that one. It looks pretty good. But they're all from the uh, bicentennial year, which is cool. 
but still need to find somebody that's willing to pay me more than face value for Eisenhower dollars. So if that's you, send me a message. Let me know because I have hundreds of dollars worth of Eisenhower dollars that I would love to sell you. And then I had, um, she had some of these bills, nothing really fancy. Here's a $2.00. 1976 i see these all the time with my favorite reverse the signing of the declaration which um, i don't believe was actually like that because i don't think all of them were in one room together but that is okay here's some silver certs again nothing too spectacular just your run-of-the-mill silver certs this one's got some writing on it more silver certs stuff that i just I hold on to, I don't know why, but this will end up just going into my uh, little silver certificate collection until I have like a big old stack of them. <laughs> there was this 1984 proof that um, has seen better days, really not worth much in this condition more than likely just take the coins out of there and throw them into circulation to uh, get, what, 76 cents back from this collection that I bought. There was a war nickel in there. Just one. There was a lot of nickels that I searched through. And uh, there was a lot of old nickels, like from the uh, 40s and whatnot. Uh, and this was the only war nickel. And it looked, it's in pretty good shape. Still has the nice rim. I mean, usually when I see war nickels, I, I rarely see them in this condition. I always see them really rough and worn, but um, that's pretty cool. 1943 war nickel. And then this was pretty cool. This was a um, gold layer Eisenhower dollar. It's uh, not gold at all, but it is gold layered. And it's the Bicentennial Ike dollar. Here it is. Type 2, $1, MS-63. That's what somebody thought. This was an MS-63. So, not bad. We had this golden Susan B. Anthony. 18 karat gold plate, uncirculated, 1979. Susan B. Anthony sitting in that safe. Don't think it's really worth much. We had some Franklins in there. These guys are um, pretty circulated, worn. This one in here is actually in pretty good shape, 1960. 1960. This is one that will definitely get put into a flip. For, uh, for an auction item. Not bad. 1960. And then we got uh, 53, 60, and 62. These all go into the junk silver bin. We have... There's a, a lot of silver quarters in here. I have searched through these already. And there was I searched them there because I wanted to um, make sure if there was any key dates, I was going to give her a little bit more for it these guys i'm pretty much taking a chance on i kind of bought them to um uh, to do a video actually of uh, unwrapping those things i thought that would be a pretty cool content to do but these are all silver i did pick out the ones that were not this one i remember seeing it. it's a 48 so it is silver just the rim looks a little like it's got some copper in it so these are all silver common dates, all of them. There was a couple of early 40s in there. There was a 36, but it was a um, Philadelphia, so it's the least uh, good date of the 36. But uh, other than that, mostly 50s, 40s here and there. So let's push that aside and we'll move on to these guys and we'll see what's inside so let's check it out uh, let's start with the ones i've already opened uh those guys are all still sealed this one was one that was already open i thought when i 
when I first peeked in here, I was like, oh, wow, that looks nice. This might be some uncirculated dollars. And then I started taking them out. And I was like, oh, wait, it's a it's a mixture of a lot of different dollars. Uh, some of these are in pretty good shape, but I do not collect these dollars. They just end up going to the bank. If you are interested in any of these nice dollars that I got, let me know. Like this one right here. This one looks like it's in very good shape. It is what a... Um, Zachary Taylor. Hey, remember that Zachary Taylor five ounce bar I had? Now you can have this one dollar. This one's from what? This is 2004. I can't tell what that is. 2000 and something or other. So what I'm going to do, since we're going to look for that Cheerio dollar, which if um, one is ever found in circulation, it will more than likely be in a collection like this where stuff hasn't been um, searched through for many, many years. This is what, 2009? Uh, I thought they were gonna be older, but still 2009 is um, about 14 years away. And who knows how long that um, safe has been buried Obviously, at least 2009, since that one was in there. So I'm going to unwrap all of these guys. We'll search through some of them. I'll separate the Sacagaweas, and then we will get to that Cheerio dollar, if we can find one. And I was doing a little bit of reading on the Cheerio dollar, and they're not 100% sure how many are out there. I believe I saw that they're, um, they minted 5,000 or 5,000 were sent to uh, General Mills so they can put it in their Cheerios, um, so they can put it in their Cheerio cereal. So I believe it is the 2000P Philadelphia is the one that is the Cheerio. Anything else, like there's a Denver. These guys right here, basically what we'll look for is, let's get it under the microscope. The tail will be more detailed than this. So that does not look like the Cheerio dollar. Nope. I guess I can just look with it with the naked eye and if there's anything interesting, of course, I will turn on the microscope again. Um, but the detail will be in the tail feather. None of those have any detail there. But we still got two, four, six, nine rolls. This one kind of has a Monroe. Maybe these are all going to be Monroe dollars. I don't know what really is in here, guys. It could just be nothing but presidential dollars, or it could be some more mixtures. It could be a bunch of uncirculated dollars. But like I said, is I don't collect these dollars. No, that definitely does not look uncirculated. I just give people face value most of the time. Take these to the bank myself. A lot of Sacagaweas in this one. So who knows? We might get lucky. And if I get lucky and there's a um, Cheerio dollar <laughs> inside of these things... I will definitely track down that lady and uh, let her know what I found. Because uh, I believe I, I, I take everyone's information down whenever they sell stuff. So I'm pretty sure I got her information. Definitely be more than willing to uh, share the wealth if I get a nice Cheerio dollar in here that her uh, boyfriend hid. And another sad thing 
too, is that she brought in a ring that was their, um, the ring that he was supposed to, um, propose with, and the diamond fell out, and she wanted to know if I can fix it. I tried, but I'm not really a jeweler. Looks like most of these are presidential dollars. Yep. Roll of all presidentials. So I'm not really a jeweler, but I tried to, um, I had a couple of diamonds lying around that, um, I pull out of other rings before I take them to the scrap dealer. I had one in there that, um, I thought would fit. So I try to help her out and get that back, uh, not on her finger, but she said she was going to wear it. If she can get it fixed. Here's some more. These are old wrappers, too. So, that's a nice shiny one right there. Jackson Polk. James Polk. Yeah, I, th I really wish these would have caught on more. I'm not sure if um, you guys are much in these presidential dollars or not, but the dollar, the coin dollar is just something that really doesn't, like, doesn't catch on. I, I tried it one time, because every Friday, my kid's school does like a, um, you know, bring a dollar to school and they'll, they'll give you an ice cream with your lunch. Uh, so my kids are always wanting dollars on Fridays. Just so they can get, I guess it's like one of those um, ice cream sandwiches or something like that. So they're always hounding me for dollars. And one time I tried to give them these. <laughs> I said, here, see if the lunch lady will uh, will take this. And uh, they were going to do it, my kids. My wife was like, no, just give them a dollar. I was like, but this, these are dollars. That's, that's the whole idea is that they're dollars and... You can, this one's got some cool toning on it in the reverse. Let me show you it. I'll get these out of the way. Uh, yeah, it's some cool toning, but it's very subtle. Mm, camera's really not picking it up, but it's right. It's in the face and right above it right there. And you can't really see it on the camera. Sorry, I tried. So far, these are all the Sacagawea ones that were in there. I'm going to save that one for last. Because that one's different than the rest. So it's been, uh, it's been very slow here for the past couple of weeks at the store. Since silver's dropping, things have been uh, pretty quiet. I thought... For sure, people would be coming in nonstop wanting to buy some silver now that it's cheap. I've had some, and I'm almost completely sold out of all of the silver that I had. And um, if more people come in wanting stuff, I'm going to have to start relying on the wholesalers again. Because not many people are selling at the moment. I had a nice run of a lot of people selling and then a lot of people buying and now I'm just getting nothing but buyers and hardly no sellers. The only time I get people selling me stuff now is when they have like all of this junk silver. I've been getting a lot of junk silver recently, which is good. I don't mind. Uh, I need the inventory. But um, yeah, I need people to sell me some, <laughs> sell me some silver. Some silver bars or something. All right. But I have a good feeling about this. I think there might be something in here that, um, that will make things all worth it. Who knows? There might be a whole roll of Cheerio dollars. <laughs> I highly doubt. Wishful thinking, guys. Wishful thinking. But, yeah, those are all just regular... Presidential dollars. I'm getting a very, very nice stack over here to my left that you guys can't see because it's out of camera. Man, this one's really dusty. But, um, yeah, it's just crazy. Like, I didn't think people really buried safes, but sure enough, 
she came in and that safe was definitely buried at one point. Which is, um, which is cool. It makes for a good story. At least here on YouTube it does. I'm almost done, guys. Just got a few more rolls, and then we will take a look at all of these Sacagaweas. Looking for that Cheerio dollar. Which, um, yeah, about 5,000 or so were, were minted, uh, according to the mint. But who knows how many were actually put into the... Um, those little Cheerio sleeves, or the, yeah, the um, things that they did them in, because they also did a penny, and I see the penny all the time, or the one cent. The uh, Cheerios one cent, I see that all the time. They did it for the Millennium. Uh, but I also saw a story of somebody who had a box of Cheerios from this promotion, and they opened it up, and the dollar that was in there, the Sacagawea dollar, was not the high relief tail feather one, or the more detailed tail feather one that um, was supposed to be in there. It was just a regular Sacagawea, so that really confused things, because they weren't even sure how many were inputted, or how many were actually sent, or how many were actually done with that special die that was there. So here is the uh, one that I wanted to wait until the end to do because it looked different than the others. But these all look to be, <laughs> didn't I say that one roll was going to be Sacagawea Cheerio dollars? Looks like this whole roll right here ended up being Sacagawea dollars. So we have all of these and there could be a cheerio dollar in here i highly doubt it guys i really doubt that there's a cheerio dollar in here but um it it makes for good video a good um that's a nice looking dollar though good content let's take a look at that under the microscope and let's move these dollars out of this way Man, there's so many dollars over here, guys. All right, so nothing there. You can't see any of the detail. So, but that's a that's a nice looking Sacagawea dollar. Let's get rid of the microscope. Here we go. This one looks like um, it's just a regular. Another regular. I'm going to try to power through these guys because there's a lot in this video. will get pretty boring of me just trying to um, trying to continue to talk while I'm searching through these Sacagawea dollars looking for that Cheerio dollar, which I mean, I guess it, it is possible. If it was going to happen, it would be in a collection just like this. It looks like that's got something. Let's take a look at that under the microscope. Nope. It was just my uh, eye playing tricks. Well, I did. I saw that line. I don't know if I'll put a circle around it. But that line is what I was looking at. But nope. Regular old Sacagaweas. This one is also, this one's got some cool toning on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. No, the camera's really not picking it up well. It kind of is, but some nice toning. Come on, Sacagawea. Let's get, give me that Cheerio dollar. Hmm. Let's take a look at that one. No. And 
Yeah, sometimes they have like the like this glare on them. Like this one's got it looks like a thumbprint almost. I don't know if you guys can yeah, you guys can see that like that thumbprint look that it has. Sometimes I see that I'm thinking it's it's those lines cuz it's got to have more detail in the tail feather. And um I can see the tail feather clearly on a lot of these. And it just looks like the regular tail feather. So that whole roll of Sacagawea dollars ended up being just regular old Sacagaweas. No Cheerio. No worries. We will continue the hunt with this other stack. Move those over. Here we go, guys. Let's keep on rooting for the home team and see if we can find that Cheerio dollar. Would make this video so much more interesting <laughs> if uh, a Cheerio dollar popped up inside this uh, buried collection. And some of these have pretty cool toning on it. Like this one right here. This one's got like a nice green tone to it. I don't know if you guys can see it. I think you can. But uh, it's got a lot of green toning. Let's see the obverse. This one's got some nice toning too. What's out there? Looks like a dump truck is hanging around right outside my door. That's why it's so loud. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But... Let's keep on searching. Nope. Would be pretty cool if one showed up, but my uh, stack of Sacagawea dollars is uh, starting to run thin. And I'm getting a call. All right, real estate work was calling me, but let's uh, continue with our Cheerio dollar hunt. And so far it has turned up with nothing. This one, nope. Yeah, sometimes those lines kind of get in the way. Oh yeah, there's something. There's big machinery rolling through. So this one. Yeah, that makes me wonder how a Cheerio dollar would end up in circulation to begin with. Um, maybe my thought is, I mean, as a kid, you see a dollar in something, you go, nice, and then you go and spend it. Try to get, like, an ice cream or something out of it. And there you go. Cheerio dollar is in circulation. You get it out of your cereal box. You go, cool, there's a dollar in there. Parents are holding on to it, thinking that they're going to, it's going to turn into something good later on down the road, which this one ended up doing. But uh, us kids spent it. <laughs> I've done that numerous times as a kid. Nope. These are not looking good, guys. For my uh, Sacagawea hunt. I don't think there's a um, weight difference either. I think the only difference on the Sacagawea dollar is those um, the extra detail on the feather. Down to my last two little stacks. This one's got some cool toning. Let's see if the camera will pick that up. Yeah, it's kind of picking it up. You can kind of see it around the eye and the forehead. 2000P. 
And nope. A regular Sacagawea. This one looks pretty shiny. This one's got some uh, really good shine to it. Let's take a look at that one. Does not have those extra details, but this is a nice shine to it. All right. Here's the, the last few in this stack. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing and nothing. All right, guys, we're down to the last stack. If it's going to happen, it's got to happen now. Because uh, this is the, <laughs> the last stack. <laughs> it's turning out to be a long video. So, um, nope, nope, mm. no, you know, since I've never seen one, it's hard for me to like gauge what I'm really looking for. I mean, I've seen pictures of, of one. Oh, look at this one. This is a different reverse. United States of America. This is what a, um, oh, this is where the, the edge has the, um, the date. This was from, two thousand and nine. And here's another one. Nope. Here's a nice shiny one, but nice and shiny does not give us Cheerio dollar. We got a few more in here, guys. We're down to the last last five. If it's gonna happen, now's the time. Nope. Um, this one's got a little bit of detail on the feathers. Let's see what that is. Nope. Nothing that I'm looking for. Last two. Here we go. Nothing on that one. And nothing on that one. Well, it was worth a shot, guys. It was definitely worth a shot. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. If you like content like this, make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. Stay up to date on everything that comes into the store. And until then, guys, I'll see you later. Have a good day.